Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining me and welcome to my channel. It's Farouche and this is your reading for August. We're going to take a look at your general frequencies and then we're going to take a look at your singles love message and a couple's love message. I hope you guys are excited as I am. Members, there's an extended for this. I'll tell you about it at the end when we get to that part of the reading, okay? Um, so uh, thank you for joining me. Your um, video did not get notified the other day. Um, so just in case, if you guys are interested in receiving a notification, if there's a failure, you can just type in the comments, hashtag notify and type it all together and then write down Aquarius or any other sign you're interested in so that if a not notification doesn't go out again, I'll just manually notify you. If you've already done this in a comment elsewhere, don't worry about it. You just need to do it once and then I can follow up with you through that, okay? Um, all right, so let's take a look at your general energies for the next six weeks. Your first energy is for your general message, and we have the Five of Swords. You know, um, honestly, I started this before, and I had to stop for, like, just was interrupted. Um, and it was a similar type of frequency. I don't remember what card it was, but it was this kind of um, conflict resolution type of thing. I feel as though you're definitely in the process of being frustrated with someone or bewildered by someone or you want to work things out with someone um there's there's just a disagreement between you and someone else at this time and i think you really want to work things through or just be done with it we'll look at it more in detail in just a second singles here is your message we have the queen of wands so Sag, Leo, or Aries, well, you're looking really good. That's about to piss off people. <laughs> so I think that you're, um, fair, you're feeling very good. You're radiating. You feel good about yourself. I feel like this year you're going to hit certain bumps in the road, specifically when Uranus and Saturn form that square and when Saturn forms certain oppositions. But as we get into August a bit more, those oppositions quiet down as the inner planets move into Virgo um, and past Leo. So um, in other words, basically the stress on Saturn that is an Aquarius in your first house is going to ramp up a few times throughout the year, but then it's going to go back a bit more and decrease in pressure. And that's when you're going to push back, your energy is going to push back in a very positive way and you're going to have your glow up moments and those are going to be very good okay so now let's take a look at your couple's message we have the nine of swords i feel as though both you and your partner are going through something incredibly profound i feel as though it's emotional in nature by the way this is not an astrological reading i know i've been doing a lot of those this is just tarot so this is not, I just mentioned the astrology here because it came to mind, but the Nine of Swords here to me feels like there's a really big heartbreak that you and your partner are facing. I feel like you're sad with each other, like one is sad with the other, like you broke each other's heart by saying something or there was some kind of exchange that, you know, made you sad. Okay, so <laughs> the, ninth, the ninth house, sorry guys, the ninth house jumped out for the general message. So I feel as though maybe somebody is uh, going in a particular direction and there's some sadness around it. I feel like somebody could be taking a trip or going far away and that's not necessarily easy between you and this other person. Um... Something to do with the ninth house, which is long distance travel. There's space in your relationship with someone. They're going somewhere or you're going somewhere. And there's there's conflict uh, because of that. I think that there's unrest because there are changes in your outside world. And people are having a hard time facing that as an adjustment. Let's see what signs might be associated with this. So we have for generals, we have the... Uh, Sagittarius energy for sun, moon, and rising. We'll look at that more. Uh, here's the dice for singles. Let's see what it says. So it says first house. So 
If you're single, Aquarius, you're shining bright and you have a glow about you. The Queen of Wands in the first house is telling us that. And then let's take a look at signs that might be important for you. Scorpio. I've heard a lot about Aquarian Scorpio relationships recently. I'm an Aquarian Scorpio Virgo in terms of my top three. And so I talk about it quite a lot. And then, um, so I hear about from people a lot about these combinations and you seem to like each other a lot. It's not a traditional partnership. In fact, it's kind of a tough, tough combination. Um, but for some reason this year, I feel like people are having relationships with people whose astrology would be considered tough or less, less positive, like less uh, harmonious. Okay. So now couples. Let's see your house, seventh house partnership. The thing is that I can tell you is that you love each other a lot. I, I sense that you love each other a lot and there's mutual regret in a situation. It's like, I don't know, like something sad happened around you and you're both at a loss and it has something to do with each other. We'll see about that in a minute. Then we have Gemini. Okay, hi Gem. And so this, you're, you're, astrological sign for the next six weeks is going to be Gemini sun moon and rising as being impactful okay so let's clarify this five of swords with the five of swords I'm definitely feeling that there's disagreement between yourself and others I feel like this involves travel or distance whereas one person's going one direction and I don't know if everybody around them feels comfortable with that so you might be seeing opposition i really sense that there's underhanded things being said so you know just little little spiteful words or you know just just negativity so our clarifier cards are the six of wands very nice king of pentacles also nice okay let's give it a a cut and see if we have something else and then we have the moon yeah so I'm not sure if I don't I felt like okay so this is what I feel the six of wands to the six king of pentacles feels as though you are moving towards a person who is giving you good feelings there's good feelings emanating from this individual they are your point of solace and reflection so I was like okay so you're going from the six of wands the victory you have victoriously overcome opposition and friction with others towards someone who's very stable and has your back and then the moon card came up which sometimes represents Pisces and what I thought internally was okay so the king of pentacles is their friend the king of pentacles is their ally but when the moon came up I was like is it the king of pentacles that's jealous is it the king of pentacles that's frustrated I'm not so sure about that. Maybe he's aware of the lie or the deception and therefore he stands on your side and he's he's there for you as a protector energy. Okay, so let's talk about Queen of Wands, Sag, Leo, or Aries. Then we have the Magician here. Magician is my boyfriend card. It's It means in my readings that somebody has a crush on you and somebody's about to make a move towards you boyfriend or girlfriend energy so I'm always excited about that and then we have the ten of swords sometimes sun and Gemini so sometimes a Gemini energy and then we have the king of swords also Gemini Aquarius or Libra energy um, <clears throat> may, did you just break up with an air sign is it possible so some of you if you had just broken up with an air sign there's someone else who's aware of that and they're interested in you. If you haven't broken up with an air sign, what's going on here? I feel as though there's a rebuttal to maybe some control that you're experiencing from someone. So someone's exerting a lot of control in your life and I feel as though you feel probably pretty low about that, uncomfortable with it. Maybe they're for whatever reasons you can't really deal with it at this time, like it's a boss or a co-worker so you have to kind of wait with when this this is happening or coming but the magician is coming in there's some some kind of a saving grace coming in for you with this frequency I would I would wait with this and not be worried okay so now we have the nine of swords this makes me this this was the strongest hit I have a good feeling about this 
we'll find more out more about this one and this one to me came through like a lightning strike it really was sad it was like both people are mourning something together but it it's pulling them apart let's see the next message so we have the king of cups pisces cancer scorpio so like the feelings are genuine and true we have the four of pentacles there's like a conversation that was biting between the two of you a difficult conversation and the page of wands so there's, it was like a, a line in the sand that was drawn between two people. It was about partnership. And so I feel as though there is a chance that one person is contemplating whether or not to walk away from the situation, the page of wands, because another person is just not willing to take a next step forward, the four of pentacles. So someone is still holding on, harboring feelings. Maybe somebody's having a hard time to forgive about something and it's breaking both of their hearts. It's making them both sad. Something like that. We'll look about, look into that deeper. So this is the last line we're going to do today together. And it's uh, going to be a, like a further development. So this is the situation. This is the direction it's going. And then this is the outcome. Now, members, you guys get a secret reading, and I don't know what to call it, so I call it behind closed doors, so we're peeking in. And so for this general, we're going to find out secrets um, regarding your situation, and for the singles and for the couples, it's going to be more of an intimacy-oriented reading, so we're going to see like what the, the intimate side of it is, because I can't do it with the generals, right? So... We'll do that over there. And I have Reese decks for everyone to enjoy. Okay, so uh, first spread with the Five of Swords. You're not being accepted by someone. Someone's not accepting your direction. But I think the direction you're going to take is very successful. I don't think you should even question whether or not going this direction was the right path. So we have the Seven of Wands. We have the Three of Swords there's sadness attached to this why can't you love me why can't you accept me then there's the seven of there's definitely a goal in mind of a financial nature somebody doesn't like the fact you're going in this direction they're going to have very negative opinions or be sharing pressure pressuring you with regard to that five of cups i really feel as though you're disappointed by somebody else's behavior their secret motivations that they may have been holding on to for a while and you're just becoming aware of that seven of cups yeah you're being woken up to a person's true intentions for sure and i think that there's a change in your situation so like uh there's a change in terms of um like you're changing something, you're, cha you're changing the pace of your environment, your interaction, and, it's, and that's rubbing against their personal boundary, and that secret is becoming exposed. And then we have the Ace of Swords. Um, I think you're going to work up your, uh, your energy throughout the month to confront them. I think you're going to say something to them ultimately, but for now, I think... You're going to appreciate what, how they're behaving and what they are doing because you have your goals in mind. Listen, this is not an opportunity you should give up. Whatever's coming up for you, you don't want to pass this up. This is your path. This is a good solution. There's other people there for you to celebrate with, people who will celebrate you and support you. And it's sad sometimes when you have to walk away from people that don't understand or cannot provide you the support that you're needing in this direction. I think ultimately you're going to ask for the truth. I think you're going to ask for clarity on their feelings and on their intentions. And um, hopefully they, they say what's actually going on. This could be a situation in which somebody's like acting out with you. And you're like, hey, what's going on? Why are you being this way? And so you know something's wrong, but you want clarity. And so this could be your request for clarity or them ultimately telling you what actually is going on. Okay, so singles, let's see what's going on in your relationship. Six of Pentacles. Then we have the Knight of Cups. 
we have the Temperance card, High Priestess, Strength card, Leo. This maybe a Leo is important for you at this time. And then we have King of Cups, who could be a Scorpio, remember our dice, um, or any water sign. This could be a very open hearted person, also. So let's see what's going on. I think that somebody is revealing their true feelings towards you. I think that those feelings are very, very powerful and prominent. I think that maybe you have known them for a while and it's been a flirtatious interaction, which means that like, um, like flirty and not serious and a little bit of fun. And I think that you have been getting to know each other for a while and I feel like there's been a slow a coming together of sorts with this individual. The Temperance card is ruled by Sagittarius, which we also got for the general for you. In some way, you understand this person is stands out from the others. You're attracted to them or pulled towards them in some way. And I feel like, yeah, there's just definitely something coming through. At the end of this transit, I would expect that there's going to be a big reveal of feelings and show of emotions like things are going to become much more clear and evident okay so couples let's see what's going on for you guys let's see so we have the king of pentacles so he showed up here right here in the uh general read a lot of the readings have like a doubles coming up then we have the king of wands the energy king of cups is here and here although that's two different types of relationships then we have the nine of cups and we have the justice card okay libra energy then we have the page of swords gemini aquarius or libra and the outcome is the chariot which is the cancerian card just to remind you your sign is Gemini. That's important for you at this time. That doesn't mean that your partner needs to be a Gemini. Okay, so let's see what's going on. I have a feeling that I have a feeling that someone um, got in your business romantically. I feel like maybe there was a couple people that were sort of intruding, and I think they got what they want. Uh, wanted so they wanted to cause a disruption and I think that they it's kind of like a sadistic thing that they were doing and I think they're celebrating their victory I think that they're happy to create friction the main thing that I get from your reading is that the couple really loves each other and so these feelings that you're working through at this time these feelings of either wanting to get away or feeling as though somebody's pushing you in a direction you don't feel comfortable in going in yet. Whatever that is, I think that's temporary. And ultimately, you're going to figure your feelings out. There might be a Gemini who's going to bring fresh air into this situation for you, or a Libra, the Justice card. But I do feel like this is like moving past bullies that had intruded themselves into your relationship, that had in some way created a dynamic that wasn't safe or was not good. They they manipulated something. They let a truth out. They, they sort of uh, influenced a situation in some way. It was it was really uh, like underhanded. Whatever. I'm I'm not sure what I'm seeing here, but I feel like someone got what they wanted. Now, remember, uh, Jupiter is moving back into Aquarius uh, on the 28th of July until the end of the year. The Nine of Cups is Jupiter in Pisces. And so Jupiter in Aquarius is much better for your sign. It feels like your relationship got uh, disheveled, you know, over the last couple months while Jupiter was in Pisces. And now it's going to sort of work itself out. I feel as though the things that are untrue are going to be clarified. I feel like somebody was trying to get back at you or your partner to, with doing this. So some third party, it could be someone close in your family like a sibling that was in an underhanded way meddling, or it could be someone else. I sense a competitive energy of imposition, but I feel like you're going to find the, the truth 
and I think that's going to be clarified. The only missing part here is the lost time and the added stress while the situation was unraveling, but the outcome is the chariot. So I really feel like this is going to lead to higher realizations, higher understanding of your circumstances, and, and just a greater awareness of what's going on and an appreciation of that as well. So that's the reading. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it's good information. Members, I'm going to look at secrets. So we have the moon here, secrets of what's going on. And then we have singles and couples, what's going on in the bedroom. <laughs> I thought it was a funny one to do. And uh, members, tell me if you like it. I don't have comments on for members video, so you guys can tell me here so everybody can read the juicy stuff. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to make the energy real. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye!